God, I feel like with each structure deck, they just make the boss monsters like harder and harder to use. Today, we have the Invincible Fortress structure deck and the Lord of the Storm structure. This one has Exod Master of the Guard and this one has Samorg Bird of Divinity. So you might be familiar with Samorg. We've had a, a few very powerful versions of this card, but Exod, not so much. And there's a reason for it, you'll see later. But uh, these came out in Summer 06, following the Warrior and Spellcaster structure decks. We duel with them in the past. Check it out. And uh, we're gonna pop these bad boys open and see what they can do. Okay, so I've got structure deck Lord of the Storm. This is the wind structure. And according to the back, it seems like it's uh, predictably wind, although there's actually a theme this time, a lot of harpy lady cards. So that'll be interesting to see. I always hate cutting these Millennium stickers. I just, I do, but here we are. We've got our structure deck. I think this might be the first rule book that's version 6.0. I wonder what changed. Okay, so our boss monster is some more Bird of Divinity. Can't be special summon. That's always a great start. If you tribute summon it, I have to tribute wins. Okay. Um, and when it's placed up in the field, both players take a thousand points of damage during either player's end phase. Uh, during the dam decrease the damage each player takes by 500 for each spell and trap they control. Rock from the Valley of Hay is a pretty good tribute summonable monster. Sakuretsu Armor, proving that once again these cards are in a very random order. Uh, Harpy's Pet to be Dragon, MST, Harpy Lady Sisters, Hunting Ground, Nobleman, Harpy Lady 2. I still just don't know why these cards are in this order. Ready to play. Yeah, ready to play. It's already shuffled. A Dust Tornado, Lightning Vortex, Hysteric Party, not bad. Lady Ninja Yai, interesting pose she's in. Reckless Greed, this is an interesting draw card to include in here. Harpy Lady 3, Slate Warrior, Elegant Egotist, another Hunting Ground, Aqua Chorus. Ah, this is good for Harpies. Um, Sonic Shooter, he looks majestic. Reload, Flying Kamakiri, Sylphid. An old one. Heavy Storm, that's gonna be nice. Ninjutsu Honor Transformation, Harpy Lady Sisters again. Dark Coffin, that's a standout. Call of the Haunted, Blade Fly. Hmm. This is the, uh, before Great Fly, there's Blade Fly, increasing the Wind Monster stats. Harpy Girl, Icarus Attack, that's gonna be handy. Triangle Ecstasy Spark. Sheesh. Bird Face. Sonic Duck, Magic Jammer, Swift Birdman Joe. Card Destruction, and Flying Kamakiri. Okay, so after reading through all the cards in this deck, I have a pretty good idea of what my strategy is going to be. But it seems like the main strategy is that this is kind of an early Harpy Lady deck. So by summoning any of my Harpy Lady monsters, I'll be able to use things like Elegant Egotist to summon more. The goal also is going to be to hopefully see Harpy's Hunting Ground, even though I don't get Harpy Queen, but hopefully see Harpy's Hunting Ground. Whenever I summon my Harpies, I can pop my opponent's spells and traps. Now, the thing about popping their spells and traps and all is that with some more Bird of Divinity, my opponent is going to be encouraged to set more spells and traps so they take less damage. However, setting those spells and traps will make them prone to my hunting ground. So this little strategy is basically what it's all about, and everything else in here seems to just sort of move around that. So I think it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. We'll just see how it goes. All right, we're here with the Invincible Fortress, and there's Exide in all of his glory. We can even see his legs, but uh... Let's pop him open. Not his legs, the, the, the product. So first we'll start off with Exide Master of the Guard. Uh, he's a rock effect monster. It reads, this card cannot be normal summoned or set. This card cannot be special summoned except by tributing one monster on your side of field that includes Sphinx in its card name. While this card is face up on the field, each time an earth monster is flip summoned, inflict 1000 damage to your opponent's life points. Hmm. Oh, and it has zero attack and 4,000 defense. It'll be fun to use. Next up, we have Garden Sphinx. So one of the, one of the first Sphinxes we'll need to summon him. Giant Rat, good floater. Compulse, a good card. Magic Drain, Gigantes, he's a good uh, special summon. Ordeal of a Traveler, Sand Moth, MST, Wabaku. Magical Mallet, nice little band card. But we need something to get, we need to get cards in our hands, so. Maui Interceptor Cannons, Heriaco Sphinx, another Sphinx monster. Swords of Revealing Light, Giant Rat, Great Floater, Gigantes, Ectoplasma, Maui Interceptor again. Ooh, Premature Burial, that's a nice card. Guardian Statue, Shield and Sword, imagine using this on him. Ooh. 
Compulse again. Shifting Shadows. This card actually lets you um, rearrange your face down defense position monsters so your opponent never knows which one they're attacking. Giant Rat, Robin Goblin, Hammer Shot, Stone Statue of the Aztecs, Maharagi, the Spirit Monster. I did not expect this. Magic Drain, Mega Rock Dragon, kind of the uh, second boss. Uh, yeah, he gains attack and defense for like each rock monster that's like uh, either removed from play. Yeah, that's removed from play. So you get as many as you can in a grave, then you banish them to summon him, and then he's huge. Brain Control, great card. Cryo Sphinx, another Sphinx. Ultimate Offering, oh, these banned cards. Great Spirit, Medusa Worm, Canyon, Reckless Greed, Golem Sentry, and another Shield and Sword. So Exod's a bit more difficult than other um, boss sponsors I've had to deal with because he doesn't actually do anything himself. But we have to tribute a Sphinx like Cryo Sphinx. Cryo Sphinx, of all the Sphinx is really important here because it can be summoned with Giant Rat, which we have three of. But of course, none of this matters if he has zero attack and can't do any damage. So you can use cards like Sword and Shield, which we have two of, to reverse his attack and defense or Great Spirit, who can also reverse his attack and defense. Though Great Spirit has terrible stats, so you need to use a card like Shifting Shadows to be able to mix up, because it can, it can change itself face down. So you want to mix up your cards that are face down, like Great Spirit and Medusa Worm, so your opponent doesn't know what they're attacking into. So you can reuse Great Spirit as much as, as, much as you want, and you can get Pops and Medusa Worm. All right, guys, so we've got our structure decks. I'm going to be playing some more Bird of Divinity. And I have Exod, Master of the Guard. Good game, Duelist. Let's go. Roll, roll C goes first. High roll. C. Nine. Five. Uh, nine? Yep. Nine. Okay. I will take the first move. All right. Normal summon my bird face. Uh, if it gets into the graveyard by battle, I can add a harpy lady from my deck to my hand. Set three cards face down. Ooh. Quite a bit, I know. And I'll pass my turn. Drop for turn. I will set one face down and I'll pass. All right. I'm going to draw for my turn. I'll enter the battle phase and use bird face to attack your monster. You hit my stone statue of the Aztecs. So you take double the battle damage. 2,000 defense. This type of strat I see. All right, I'm gonna have to pass my turn there. All right, drop turn. Switch my statue to attack position and normal summon my Maui interceptor cannons. And mm. I will activate shield and sword. Oh, it switches everything's attack and defense. Yes, all monsters on the field get their attack and defense swapped around. So my stone statue, the Aztecs, will attack your bird face. So he's got 2,000. I still have 1,600 attack because yes. he's got the same, but I'm going to take double damage, right? You will. So I'll take 800 again. Sheesh. Okay, bird face's effect does activate, so it lets me add a harpy lady from my deck to my hand. Hmm. I'm going to get harpy lady one. I will attack you directly with my Maui Interceptor Cannons for 2,000. Jeez, you didn't expect the rock deck to be this offensive early on. We, we just go after it. I'll go to main phase two, and I'll use the effect of my Maui and Scepter Cannons to flip it to face down defense mode. Does leave your stone statue vulnerable. It does, but I'll pass that. Right, I'm gonna draw. I'll normal summon my Harpy Lady one. Mm -hmm. So its name is treated as Harpy Lady, and it increases the attack of all my wind monsters by 300. So instead of being at 13, she's at 16. Um, I'm gonna enter the battle phase and Harpy Lady 1's gonna attack Stone Statue of the Aztecs. All right, I'll take uh, 1,300. Um, I'm gonna set one card face down and pass turn. All right, drop a turn. I will banish my statue. Oh my special God. special summon my Gigantes. This is not what I needed right now. Oh, geez. You guys don't know why it's worried, but Gigantes has 1,900 attack and when it's destroyed by battle, it can Heavy storm the board and destroy all spells and traps. Yeah, I picked a good time to set a lot. So I'll enter battle, my Gigantes will attack your Harpy 81. I think it might be in my best interest to just fire this one off now. I'll use my Icarus attack. Woo! I contribute a Winged Beast monster on my side of the field to destroy two cards. Oh field. my gosh. So I'll tribute my Harpy Lady and destroy your two. Because I can't let Gigantes do his thing. I was hoping I, I was hoping to get away with it. I really was. He is troublesome. Let's see. Main phase two, I'm going to set two cards. And I'll pass. 
Like I'll draw. I'll normal summon Harpy Lady 2, one of the less useful ones. Um, it negates the effects of any flip effect monsters that uh, get destroyed by her. So that can be helpful, but anyways. I don't think I have any flip effect monsters. All right, I'm going to, first, I'm going to activate my Elegant Egotist. So since I control a Harpy Lady, I can summon Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters from my hand or my deck. I'll summon Harpy Lady Sisters. I'll enter the battle phase. Let's see. Harpy Lady 2 is gonna attack for 1300. I'll take 13. And then I'll attack you directly with Harpy Lady Sisters for 1950. Uh, you can add that to your hand, because I'm activating Composable wow. Activation Device. <laughs> you know, she can't be normal summon her set, so I don't think she's gonna be back in time <laughs> soon. <laughs> All right, last turn. All right, drop turn. Jesus, <laughs> if you only knew. <laughs> no, I'll set one face down. I'll pass there. All right, I'll draw. Okay, I activate my Elegant Egotist. Oh my gosh. And summon this one from my hand. I bet you can't guess what the other card in my hand is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but at least she's back. <laughs> Harpy Lady 2, since it can destroy flip effect monsters and gate their effects, I'll take this chance and attack with Harpy Lady 2's 1300. You hit my golem statue. It's Big not mistake. a flip effect monster. 1800 defense. Okay, I take five. All right, I'll use my Harpy Lady Sisters to attack Golem Sentry. Fair. And that's gonna end my turn. All right, draw for turn. I will banish. Oh no, you have another. Oh, you got him. three rock monsters from my graveyard to summon my Mega Rock Dragon. So Mega Rock gains 700 attack and defense for each of the banished monsters. I banished three. So he's 21. 2100. Uh, okay, not cool. And I'll have my Mega Rock Dragon attack your Harpy Lady Sisters. Yeah, I guess that's gonna have to do. So I take 150. Yes. And then I will set one color phase down, and I'll pass. Right, I'll draw, switch my Harpy Lady 2 to defense. Hey, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> and set a monster. We're gonna pass. Yeah, we're gonna pass turn. Drop the turn. I will set one and enter battle. Okay. Mega Rock Dragon, attack is Harpy Lady 2. Good die, Harpy Lady 2. It was nice. And I'll pass there. I will draw. Okay, I'll set one card phase down. Draw for turn. Here comes the heat. So I'll flip summon my Medusa Worm. Oh boy. When it is flip summoned, I can destroy one monster you control. Okay, goodbye. Flying Kamakiri number one, I needed you. <laughs> I'll normal summon my Sand Moth. To lay what does he do? So Sand Moth, uh, it's, he only gets his effect if he's destroyed but phase down, but if he is destroyed while he's phase down, he comes back to the field with uh, 2,000 attack. Enter battle. Okay. Sand Moth attacks for 1,000. All right, I'll activate my Trump card. You have a Trump card? Hysteric Party. I discard a card from my hand and special summon as many Harpy Lady cards as possible from my graveyard. And if this gets removed from the field, they get destroyed. Okay. I'll discard Harpy Lady Sisters. Oh no. <laughs> and I get to summon a lot of Harpies. You do get to summon a lot of Harpies. A few Harpy Ladies that you've killed. A Harpy Lady, so he's 21? Yes. Even younger in some countries. Another Sisters. Yeah, these are gonna be the Harpies of choice. So All Harpy right. Lady 1, 2, and 2 Harpy Lady Sisters. Ooh. All right, Um. so he will not be attacking anymore. Uh, Mega Rock Dragon will attack your Harpy Lady 1. Okay, so their boosts are no more. Yeah, no more of that. I'll go to main phase 2, and I'll use my Medusa 1's effect to flip it face down. I'll pass. On draw. I'll activate my Reckless Greed. Okay. So it lets me draw two cards, but I will have to skip my next two draw phases, so. Okay, so the problem is that I can't actually swing over Mega Rock Dragon right now. He's the Mega Rock. Or at least that would have been the case. Oh. But I've got this. Aqua Chorus. If there are monsters with the same name on the field, I increase their attack and defense points by 500. Whoa. I don't know why I didn't use that last turn, by the way, because that would have like increased theirs, but it still would have died, so like it doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, so my two Harpy Lady sisters oh my gosh. will both gain 500 attack and defense. So now they're both 2450. Okay, so that means my Harpy Lady sisters. Okay, I'll switch. All right, Harpy Lady sisters attacks Mega Rock Dragon with I'll 2450. I'll activate Compulsory Evacuation Device on that Harpy Lady sisters. Oh no, so now my monsters don't get the attack boost. Ugh. Okay, so she's returned. Since the number of monsters changed, I won't have to attack with her at least. Man, that sucks. <laughs> but, but that is still a nuisance. Uh, oh, so now I can't swim from Mega Rock. Still the strongest monster. Jesus. All right, so well, Harpy Lady Sisters is going to attack Sand Moth. All right. For 950. 950. Um, we're gonna just go ahead and use Harpy Lady and attack this set monster. Ah, oh, you suck. All right. 
<laughs> Does he have to be flip summoned for his effect? Yeah, it has to be flip summoned. Main phase two. I'm going to tribute my Harpy Lady 2 to summon Swift Birdman Joe. If I tribute summon him by tributing a wind monster, I return all the spells and traps in the field to the owner's hands. So that means that my Hysteric Party, Aqua Chorus, and whatever set card this is will all return. Since Hysteric Party was destroyed, or left the field, my Harpy Lady Sisters goes. I'm not sure how this helped you. Remember, I get to use it again. Oh no! Now I'll set these cards <laughs> face down and pass turn duelist. Oh my gosh. So next turn, you know what's happening. Draw. So I activate Hammer Shot. This destroys the monster with the highest attack on the field. Okay. I will set one phase down. I'll enter battle. Mega Rock will attack you directly for 21. Now I'm gonna use, I bet you didn't see it coming, my Hysteric Party. Boom. I'm also going to chain my Aqua Chorus. Here we go. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm discarding Harpy Lady Sisters for Hysteric Party. Sisters. So if I summon an attack, they gain 800 attack, which would put them right at... Oh, they've got some big booties. Okay, so Harpy Lady 2, Harpy Lady 1. So I'll just summon, okay. They'll all be in attack position. And thanks to Harpy Lady 1, they're all going to be gaining 300 attack. And then thanks to Aqua Forest, they'll all be gaining 500 attack. So they're all going up by 800. No! So these are each at 21, and these are each at 2750. All I can do is say Mega Rock Dragon, Attack Harpy Lady 1. Okay, so that will destroy us both. I pass. All right, I don't get to draw, but I still have enough power on the board to get rid of you, so Harpy Lady Sisters is going to attack for 2750. Well, it's not 2750, right? It's only got Aqua Core, so 2450, sorry. Which, you know, still more than enough. Yeah, 2450 with Harpy Lady Sisters, and then 2450 again yeah. for game. Okay, so game two. Game two. Since I lost, I'll be going first. Okay. Second is fine by me. Okay, I will set one phase down, activate my canyon. So if a rock type monster in defense is attacked, I double any battle damage that you would take. And I'll set one phase down and I'll pass right there. All right, I'm gonna draw. I'm for going for to set two cards face down and activate card destruction. Woo! So uh, we both discard our hands and draw the same number of cards. Okay. So I'm gonna be discarding three cards. I'm discarding two. And I'm gonna set a monster face down mm -hmm. and pass turn to you. All right, I will draw for turn. I'll set two, pass. All right, I'll draw. I'm gonna normal summon my Harpy Lady too. Uh, so she negates any flip effect monsters that get destroyed by battle with her. Next, Elegant Egotist. Oh no. So since I've got a Harpy Lady, I'm gonna to get to summon a Harpy Lady or a Sisters. So we're gonna summon, oh there she is, Harpy Lady one. Harpy Lady 1 gives both of them 300 extra attack points. All right, I'm going to use Harpy Lady 2 and attack your set monster. I will activate on Declaration, my Robin Goblin. So oh. when you take damage this turn, uh, you will have to pitch a card from your hand. And you hit. What did I hit? Ooh. My Stone Statue of the Aztecs. Ooh, okay. So like my Canyon, he also doubles the battle damage. Okay, my monster's not destroyed at least. Yes, keep your monster. Take so I take 16, 16. And my Robin Goblin activates. Okay, so I will be discarding my Harpy Lady. Random card. Oh, pick. Harpy Lady 3. It's discarded. Get out of here. I'm gonna have to pass my turn there. All right, draw for turn. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna tribute my stone statue to summon my Guardian Sphinx. And uh, mm -hmm. if that's okay, I'll use the effect of flipping face down. How much defense do you have? 2,400. 24. Okay. And I'll pass there. And I'm going to draw. I'll use my Elegant Egotist. We're going to get Harpy Lady Sisters. Okay. Now I'll activate my Gnomeman Cross Out, oh. which uh, destroys a face down monster moves from play. And if it's a flip effect monster, you have to banish all the copies. I'll chain Magic Drain. You can pitch a spell card from your hand to negate this. But if you can't, I negate your Cross Out. And we have the cards in hand. Okay. Uh. Well, no attacking for me for this turn. Pass turn to you. Duelist. All right, draw for turn. So I know you like having cards in hand, right? Oh, it's great. Well, you're about to get a whole lot of them. Am I? Because I flip summon my Guardian Sphinx. Oh, and on yeah. flip summon, I return all monsters of your side of the field to the hand. Is it like all face up or just it's all, all monsters? All, all of them go straight to the hand. Cool. That's, That's fun. That's a gift. Yay! <laughs> Okay, and then I will banish my 
Stone to special summon Gigantes. He's not as much of a threat today or <laughs> in this duel as he was last duel. Okay. All right, and then I'll enter battle. My Gigantes will attack with 1900. All right, we're gonna activate MST. Oh. Get in your Robin Goblin because I can't afford to lose this many cards. <laughs> I wish. All but right. I do take uh, 19, 19 from the Gigantes. And then I'll attack with 17 from my Guardian Snakes. And next I will, um, <laughs> I'm gonna banish my Guardians, or tribute my Guardian Sphinx to summon Exide, Master of the Guard. This is oh. the main phase too. Not in okay, yeah, phase. That's, that's cool, that's there. Cause you have to, have to tribute a Sphinx to summon him. So uh, he has zero attack and 4,000 defense and I can't really make use of that right now, but I didn't know how long Guardian Sphinx would be here, so I passed. All right, I draw, but I will set a monster face down. Gonna pass turn. <laughs> draw for turn. I will set one and I'll enter battle. Gigantes, attack. You attack my flying Kamakiri number one. Its effect lets me summon a wind monster with 1,500. Oh, well, no. let's attack. I'm gonna just summon my Great Fly. Or not Great Fly, my Blade Fly. What's that do? Um, he increases the attack of all wind monsters and decreases the attack of all earth monsters. Oh! So winds go up by 500 and earths go down by 400. Oh, did not see that guy. Okay, well, I'll just pass there. Still don't actually have a way to deal with Exod, but that's okay. All right, I will normal summon. 15. Yeah, I'll normal summon my Harpy Lady 1. I will oh, okay, okay. activate my Wabaku. Oh, well joy. No battle damage, our monsters cannot be destroyed by battle this time. So my life is forfeit. Okay, main phase two, we're gonna set and pass. All right, draw for turn. I will flip summon my guardian statue. So on flip summon, he can bounce one of your monsters to your hand, but that also triggers my Exod's effect. When a okay. rock monster is flip summoned, I inflict 1,000 damage to you. Okay, so which monster is getting bounced? I will bounce your, I'll bounce your Harpy Lady 1. I'll activate my Icarus Harpy. Attack. Woo! So I contribute my Harpy Lady 1 and destroy some monsters. I will target Exod and Gigantes. Okay, all right. Um, and they'll both done. be destroyed. No effects from Gigantes. Yes, and I do still, I think, take the, the damage, thousand, yeah. so. Okay, then I will banish this Gigantes from my graveyard to special summon a Gigantes. Oh, well that's cool. Yay! It didn't mean anything. I'll enter battle. So I'm dropped down to 15, my Gigantes will attack your blade fly. So he's at 11, so I'm taking four. And then my Guardian statue will attack you for 800. Then main phase two, I will use his effect to flip him face down. And I pass. I draw. I'll set. Set and pass. All right, try for turn. All right, and I will flip summon my guardian statue. I can bounce your monster to your hand. That's gonna do it. Gigantes, finish this. All right, game three, duelist. Let's go. Since I lost, I'll take first. Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna. Set a monster face down and pass turn to you. All right. I will set one monster face down like I'm supposed to. Then I'll set two cards in my back row and pass. I'll draw. I'll set one and two. We're going to pass turn. Oh, I can't tell who's the rock deck here. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I'm going to plan. Don't you worry. Draw for turn. <laughs> set one, set two, and I'll pass. A tense game three. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna activate this. Reckless Greed. Oh. To draw two cards. I'll set and set a field spell and a card. Then man, set a field spell. And activate Reload. Ah. Because I need to see different cards. So I'll shuffle everything in and see what I get. So I draw three cards. I'll flip up Harpy's Hunting Ground. Boo. So I finally get to see my field spell. When Harpy Lady or Sisters gets normal or special summoned, I can destroy a spell or trap on the field. I also increase the attack and defense of all my winged beasts by 200. Bring it on. I'll normal summon Harpy Lady 1. So since she's Harpy Lady, my Harpy's Hunting Ground activates and I can destroy one spell or trap. I'll target this. You hit my ordeal of a traveler. Next, I'll activate Elegant Egotist. Boo. Since I control Harpy Lady, I can summon another Harpy Lady. All right, I'll get Harpy Lady Sisters. Okay, so that triggers Hunting Ground, I'll target this. Goodbye, Robin Goblin. Oh God, that would have been dangerous. I had to set up. I was, I was targeting for you. All right, um, 
Gonna flip summon Flying Kamakiri number one. Oh, somebody's being aggressive. And Sonic Shooter. Um, if there are no cards in your spell and trap zone, it can attack directly. But if I do, it always inflicts the original attack of itself. I'll use, okay. I'll use my Harpy Lady Sisters and attack this one. I'll use my Compulsware Evacuation Device to bounce her back to your hand. Or them, not her. Yeah, Multiple. all three of them. Is good. Okay. Uh, all right, so that actually changes things. I'll attack you directly with Sonic Shooter. Oh, yeah, I have no... For 13. Uh, yeah, 1300. Harpy Lady 1 with only 18 is going to attack this one. And you hit my Stone Statue of the Aztecs. Oh, great. So okay. So you take double that damage. I'll attack. And well, you hit... Risk it for the biscuit. My great spirit. It has 1,500 defense. What is that? Oh, yeah, I'll die. All right, that's going to end my turn. All right, draw for a turn. I will tribute my stone statue for my Hiriaco Hiria Sphinx. Hiriaco Sphinx? It's an interesting word to pronounce. I see. Yeah, so you cannot attack my face down defense position monsters. I don't have any, but it's 2,400. Now enter battle. My Hiriaco Sphinx will attack your Harpy Lady 1. Harpy Lady 1 is going to... Take it to the face, I get 600 points of damage. And I'll pass there. My turn. You got to summon your boss monster last time. I'm going to tribute my Flying Comic Carry number one and Sonic Shooter for some more Bird of Divinity, my boss monster. Um, it can't be special summon. If I tribute summon it, the tributes have to be win, although that wasn't ever going to be an issue. Anyways, while it's face up in the field, we're both going to take a thousand points of damage during each of our end phases. But that damage is decreased by 500 for each spell or trap that we control. You destroyed mine. I did, so that's the strategy. I'll use some more and enter the battle phase. Attack with 2900. Say his name. I'm going to attack Hiriko Sphinx. Good, I wanted you to butcher it too. I'm going to go to my end phase. Right. So we both take a thousand, but I'm only going to take 500 because I have a spell trap. Well, that's no fun, especially since I'm already lower. So I take 500 and you take a thousand. Your move, duelist. All right, draw. I activate my ectoplasma. Oh, okay. Hey, that's going to so, help you a little. During each of our end phases, we have to tribute a monster and then we inflict the half we attack have to the to? Yes. Are you joking? Yes, we oh. have to do that. That's a thing. It oh, okay. It's a face up, though. So. Yeah, a face up monster. Okay. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty scary. Okay. So uh, then I will set and set, and I'll pass. Okay, so during the end phase, I'm going to take 500 because you have spells and traps. Yeah, I got two. So my move. Your move. Draw. I'll activate my card destruction. Oh. You don't have a hand, but I discard three cards and draw three cards. I'll normal summon my Sonic Duck. Now I'm going to enter the battle phase. Sonic Duck, attack your monster. You hit my Medusa one. Okay, good. It can't destroy my Samor. Although I guess I'm on a clock with that too. Okay, next I will. I'll set one card face down. And during the end phase, Ectoplasma is going to force me to tribute it. And the idea what, half of it's? Half, yes. Okay, so 850 to you. And Samor's effect activates. We both have cards, so it's your move. All right. No damage dealt. Draw for turn. I will activate, I want to, my Reckless Greed. Everybody loves Reckless Greed. I will set one face down just so I don't have to die that. Oh, dang, Ectoplasma, you. you yeah, you can't put anything face up. I will pass. I'll draw. I'm going to activate my Mystical Space Typhoon on your Ectoplasma. Oh, no. And I'll activate my Magic Drain. So unless you have a spell, it's negated. You have to discard. Okay, I do not have a spell to discard. All right. So Ectoplasma gets to chill. Saves. All right. Uh, this is an issue. All right, I'm going to go to my end phase. All First, right. I'll resolve some more. Oh, yeah. We both take 500. So we both take five. And then I'm going to tribute some more for Ectoplasma to deal 1350. Oof. Ectoplasma might kill me. Take it away. All right. Can't draw. All right, well, uh, can I um, banish these four monsters? Ooh, okay. For my Mega Rock Dragon, so it gets 700 for each one, so it's at 2,800 attack and defense. So, uh, Mega Rock Dragon, attack for 28. But sadly, and this hurts so much, 
<laughs> I moved to my end phase. <laughs> so will he even deal anything to me? Oh, I don't even it's know. This is the original attack. Great, so, so nothing. So you just have to tribute it. Okay. It's on you. I draw. Yeah, I gotta pass. Okay. Play on that one. Alright, my turn. Yeah. Alright, that's it. No more drawing. And uh, I pass. Alright. I draw. Normal summon Harpy Lady 2. Okay. So that triggers my hunting ground to destroy Ectoplasma. Yes, it does. I'll enter battle and attack 15. 1500. <sighs> Your move. Everything is on this top top deck. Draw. The heart of cards smiles upon me again. Does it? We'll see. I'll dab. I'll set one out pass. Okay. I'll draw. Ooh, I don't want to attack it. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> attack it. Yeah. I'm going to switch this to defense. Okay. No. And pass. All right. Uh, draw for turn. I will pass. Draw. I'll pass. Okay. And I'll draw. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll set this and I'll pass. I'll draw. Here we are again. Set one monster and back to you. And I'll set this okay. and I'll pass. Draw. We're going to tribute my harpy girl for Swift Birdman no! Joe. Wait a minute. Uh-uh. Okay. Not that easy. Not today, sir. Oh, what do you have? <sighs> What's going on? Okay. Uh, Solemn judgment? Compulse on your Birdman Joe. Okay, well, he's still going to get his effect. He's getting his effect, but he's so, going with the hand. All spells and traps. So I'll switch her to attack. Activate Hunting Ground. Yes. And we're going to attack with Harpy Lady 2. And you hit my giant rat. So... I can special summon an Earth Monster from my deck with 1,500 or less attack. Let's see. I will get my Cryo Sphinx. So Cryo Sphinx says when a monster is returned to the hand, the, the owner has to send a card from hand to grave. Okay. Sheesh. This has been like the most intense duel yet. All right. Main phase two. I'm going to set. I'm going to pass. Draw for turn. I will set two cards face down, switch my cryo to defensive position, and I'll pass. I'm going to activate my dust tornado on this card in your end phase. Get my ordeal. Okay. Draw for turn. Set. Set. Pass. All right. And I'll draw for turn. Let's see. I will set one and uh, pass. I'll draw. Set. Pass. Draw for turn. I will banish my giant rat to special summon Gigantes. Oh, hello. Enter battle. Okay. Gigantes will attack your Harpy Lady too. It's 1900. And uh, yeah, that's all we've got here. It was fun. Draw. All right. We're going to set a card face down. Pass turn. All right. I will draw for turn. I will banish this mega rock dragon from my graveyard to special summon Gigantes. Oh, he's gigantic. Huge. Putting it all on the line here, these <laughs> last few turns. So this Gigantes with 1900 will attack your face down. You attacked bird face, oh, which no. lets me grab a harpy lady. There she is. To my hand. And then the other Gigantes will attack for 19. I activate. Call the Haunted. Oh. Let's me target a monster in my grave, and I wish I could get some more, but I can't. That's okay though, I'm gonna get Harpy Lady Sisters. She's special summon in attack position. All right, I will not be attacking with Gigantes anymore. That activates my hunting ground. Oh yeah. I'll target this card and destroy it. Oh man, this zone is a dead zone for me. Yes. Get the magic drain, I pass. Okay, draw. I'll normal summon Harpy Lady 3, which activates my hunting ground and destroys this card. And I'll activate Wabaku. Okay, well, I wasn't going to be able to kill you at all. No battle damage, and it can't be destroyed. All right, your move. All right, draw off a turn. I switch my Cryo Sphinx to attack position. Okay. And I will tribute my Gigantes for Guardian Sphinx. Hmm, okay. And I'll activate Shield and Sword. Ooh, okay. So all of our monsters attack and defense will now swap, which actually helps pretty much everybody except for Gigantes. Okay. So Guardian Sphinx will attack your Harpy Lady Sisters. So 23 to 24, so I take 100. Yes. And then Cryo Sphinx will attack your Harpy Lady 3. So 16 to 24, so I take yes. 800. And then Gigantes will attack 1300. Woo! So main phase still use Guardian Sphinx's, Sphinx's effect to flip it phase down. All right. And I'll pass. Draw for turn. I'll activate Nobleman of Crossout. Woo! Your set monster. Ah, I knew it was going to come eventually. It's been oh. in my hand for a bit. Next, I'm sorry, Guardian Sphinx. We're gonna activate or normal summon. Who's it gonna hurt? 
Slate Warrior. Slate Warrior is going to attack Cryo Sphinx. Okay. For seven. 700 damage. It's coming down to the wire. Nearly fatal. <laughs> all right. That's it for my turn. All so right. it all comes down to if you see a monster or not, really. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon Maui Interceptor Cannons. Uh, no, I didn't want you to see a monster. Enter battle. Okay. Gigantes attacks for suicide, 19 and 19. Yes. And then 1100 with Maui. Ah, uh, good game. <laughs> Never saw myself fun. finishing a game with this card of all things. Jeez, man. Oh, uh, I saw him, him right now. I had right two down. sphinxes. I had a heavy storm, but I was like trying to figure out a time to. It was crazy. Good game. <laughs> yeah, very good, good game. game.